Hi, good morning, creatives. Thank you for joining me. I'm Linda Abbott, Senior Architectural Design Consultant for Stone Hardscapes. With over 20 years working with natural stone, I collaborate with architects, designers, and landscape architects during the design phase of a project to ensure the material being specified is the most appropriate type of stone, finish, thickness, and size to accommodate the design intent of the project. Let's take a dive into this month's topic, the ultimate curb appeal with natural stone. We strive to be transparent as possible by educating our clients on the various stone options, as well as provide the pros and cons of each type of material when helping to specify the most appropriate stone. Not every stone is suitable and we will address what is and what is not. I'm going to start off a little bit technical and then go into inspiration. Our goals for today, your guide to driveway applications in a commercial and residential design, facades and entryway accents, planter walls and wall cap designs. Let's get started. Goal number one, your guide for driveway applications in commercial and residential designs. Installation recommendations. Stone Hardscapes, founded in 2001, is the first manufacturer and importer to bring travertine and marble pavers into the United States. Our goal is to assist our clients in a successful installation process, which in turn creates the ultimate level of satisfaction for your clients. Natural stone, commonly used both for pedestrian and vehicular applications. Pedestrian areas, driveways, and areas subject to non-vehicular use are paved with one and a quarter inch or 3CM thickness for most stone hardscapes natural stone options. Streets and industrial pavements should be paved with units at least two inch thick or 5CM thickness for most stone hardscapes natural stone options. For residential properties, 3CM thickness in a six by 12 or smaller in surface area may be used for non-commercial vehicular traffic with a required minimum six inch rock base. It is important to understand that there are natural veins and fissures inherent to natural stone that may crack or break over time, even though the average PSI of natural stone is far greater than that of a concrete brick paver. The installation process. Compaction of the soil subgrade and aggregate base materials are essential to the long-term performance of the paver. As noted, a minimum of six inch compacted lime rock is required. Again, travertine or marble pavers at a 3CM thickness must not exceed a surface area of six inch by 12 inch for non-commercial vehicular traffic. Super important, the concrete restraint should cover the full length and width of the stone being adhered to it. The above referenced six inch width is referencing a six inch by 12 inch paver being laid on the six inch side. If a six inch by 12 inch paver is laid on the 12 inch side, the concrete restraint should be 12 inches wide. Basic installation steps. Please note, for step number eight, it's very important that the bedding sand be no thicker than one inch. So once it's spread out and compacted, it should not exceed the one inch depth. In addition, the base must be dry prior to laying the stone. So if the driveway is being installed during rainy season, we highly recommend waiting until the bedding sand is completely dry before laying to ensure that there are no issues with moisture being trapped under the stone. Bedding sand should be non-recycled gunite sand. Recycled sand can create an adverse reaction with the stone. For more details and information, please use this link provided. Travertine in a modern design concept. Residential design for a successful application. Driveways that are sand set should not be installed with natural stone that is any bigger than a six by 12 
when it is one and a quarter inch thick. This project shows you how to create a large format design using 6x12 pavers. One of the biggest travertine myths is that you can incorporate travertine in a modern design concept. Here's a drone view of the same project. I think you can agree that this driveway installation is far from the typical Mediterranean style that is designed with travertine pavers. If you think outside the box by changing the pattern and or incorporating bandings, that will create a modern flair to your designs. Bandings can be created using different color or type of stone or use of different materials altogether, such as adding artificial turf like you see here. Sometimes clients don't want artificial turf and by changing the material of the borders and banding, it can create a visual appealing design concept as well as curb appeal. Here we're showing a marble driveway with limestone borders and bandings. Just another example of how bandings and borders in different color natural stone creates character and a unique design to this circular driveway. Marble pavers can also be installed for drive driveway applications and fit into a variety of design concepts. Shown here is a transitional design concept with a modern-esque appeal. For those clients that don't care about adding bandings and or different colors or borders, marble pavers laid in a stacked format like you see here in this photo will create a more modern feel that the trip than the traditional, typical herringbone pattern. Traditional design with marble pavers. This photo shows a classic herringbone pattern. Notice how much nicer the curb appeal is with natural stone rather than a concrete paver driveway. Yes. Some concrete pavers are a cheaper alternative to natural stone. However, the concrete maintenance costs over the lifespan of the project outweigh any initial cost differential between a concrete paver and natural stone. A natural stone installed for any exterior application will never fade from sun exposure the way a man-made stone will. Man-made stone manufacturers spend lots on marketing and making claims that their materials have the same maintenance features, but the durability falls short, usually with color fading and eventual breakdown of the materials used. The average clean and seal costs approximately 80 cents a square foot. So for a 1500 square foot driveway, you're looking at about $1,200. And if you live in South Florida or any other Southern state with lots of sun exposure, this can be a yearly maintenance plan for your client. Goal number two, facades and entryway accents. Quality natural stone product, products will continue to attract the interest of discerning architects, designers, landscape architects, contractors, and clients that want to source materials that are still priced competitively, but really preserve the unique beauty that only a natural product can provide. Man-made veneer is defined as refined architectural building, generally produced from concrete, manufactured to simulate natural cut stone used in unit masonry applications. It is manufactured with aggregate and cementitious materials intended to resemble in appearance and which may be used in a similar way to natural stone. Here's one example of what the interior of a man-made stone can look like. So if for any reason the stone of the facade gets damaged, you will see the aggregate. Not only that, but just as I showed you earlier with the man-made driveway, fading from, a, fading from the sun exposure, the man-made cladding will do the same and fade. At home shows, customers would walk up to us and ask us how the stone is fading on one side of their home really bad and the other side is perfect. So what should they do? I hated hearing that because 
The cost of natural stone veneer versus a man-made stone is extremely similar in price. However, the customer was not educated by their contractor on the pros and cons of man-made versus natural stone. The natural stone veneer will be the same color all the way through. This is a natural stone facade. Adding natural stone cladding to the exterior of a building brings character to the project that it otherwise wouldn't have with, with just a stucco finish. I know it's easy to assume that natural stone would be more expensive because it's more of a luxurious finish, but the truth is a natural stone is not more expensive than a man-made stone. And the benefits are timeless. This three-story modern design has natural stone veneer cladding around the garages and the columns. They won't need to worry about the sun fading the stone on this home. When adding facades to the front of a residence, don't forget to see how you can incorporate a transitional flow of materials from the front of the home to the back of the home. Adding these little details really pull the overall design together. No matter how advanced technology is, a manufactured stone just can't compete when it comes to authenticity. If well installed and maintained according to the supplier's recommendation, a natural stone wall won't need to be replaced or repaired, at least not in your lifetime. Goal number three, planner walls and wall cap designs. Pairing the design element of a natural stone entryway column with planter walls of the same stone creates symmetry to the space along with a warm, welcoming feel. Planter walls wrapped in natural stone veneer not only adds architectural detail and texture to the space, but also luxury. For a dramatic effect, a darker colored natural stone will achieve a stunning look and you'll never have to worry about the color fading. There are a variety of design concepts that can create a one of a kind look to a project. This is a seating wall design that a client asked the architect to make up for him. A lot of people assume you cannot put a lead stone panel veneer on a radius. So I wanted to show you this, that it is possible and it's actually done quite frequently. Whether it's a planter wall, a raised ball, or any other area that requires radius application, a good installer can make it happen. We're here to make your specification process easy. Bring your natural stone designs to fruition with both function and beauty. I hope this designer talk was both inspirational and informative to you. If you have any questions about today's topics or would like to discuss an upcoming project, please don't hesitate to reach out. I welcome your feedback as well as topic suggestions. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Designer Talk webinar. Until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, and be creative.